Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Ruth and Sarah, and we're back here at St. James Sunday School to uh, tell us an, another little lesson. So this lesson is going to be about a dozen. So I, how many of you know a dozen? 12, yes, you, you spoiled it, Sarah. You told them it's 12, that's right. So that's um, imperial measurement that, we, that I grew up with a long time ago. Now we're metric and metrics are in tens, that's right. You're so smart today. I am. That's great. So anyway, I wanted to think about things that we do buy in 12. So we buy things like um, cat food in 12. This is the friskies that we get for our kitty. Comes in 12s. And of course we buy eggs in 12s. They're not here, but that would be a carton with um, 12 eggs in it. And we um, make cookies. So when I make cookies, it'll say that the um, recipe makes three dozen. So three dozen would be 12 times three would be 36, right? So, um, so a lot of things. If we go to a bake shop, often we will buy half a dozen, six, or we'll buy a whole dozen of something. So we still use the term dozen quite a bit. And today's story is all about 12. It's about the 12 men that Jesus chose to be disciples or apostles. And I looked that word up and they are, you can use them interchangeably, the, the word disciple and apostle. Um, but if you look back into the Greek um, roots for them, disciple means that uh, you are a student, you are learning, and apostle means you are out on a mission. So they are learning and they're out on a mission. So both words work just super, okay. So today we're going to be doing this uh, song, Count Your Blessings. It's one of my favorites, and we're going to try and have it go through twice. Here we go. Count your blessings. and you can see Jesus is over by the Sea of Galilee and he is calling the disciples and they are fishing. There's a fishing net in one of their hands. So this is the beginning of Jesus with his helpers. So let's just put the music on and there we are. So here's Jesus on my flannel board uh, walking along the Sea of Galilee and here are the some of the fishermen that he came across. So uh, he called to two of the fishermen that were brothers. I've got their names down here. So Peter and Andrew were the first two that were called to be disciples. And Peter and Andrew left their boat, and they were happy to, to follow Jesus. They knew quite a bit about Jesus. They loved him. They loved hearing about God and about the, the stories um, related to, you know, Jesus being the Son of God and, and the goodwill that came with that. Uh, so... Uh, he also walked along and he found two other uh, brothers, James and John, and so they were the second. So he had four, and actually the fifth one was Matthew, and Matthew was in town. So those were the first of the, um, of the 12 disciples, but I went to the Bible to check out the names, and there is some dispute on exactly how you do some of these names, but these are the 12 that I came uh, down with. So there were Peter and Andrew, James and John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Thaddeus, and he's sometimes called Judas, and there was Judas and Simon. So those are the 12 that, that we have. And here's a, a fun uh, flower board characterization of the 12 disciples. They're all very happy, uh, and Matthew was the learned one, so he's got a scroll in his hand. So there we go. And our Bible verse that goes with us today is, Come and follow me, Jesus said. And that's from Matthew 4, verse 19 in the New Testament. So we learn so many stories about Jesus as we, as we go along. But these are the men that went out to all the villages and the towns and told the stories of Jesus and about God and 
the goodwill and giving to others and all the things we talk about all the time. So I'd like us to go over here. And I did want to show you something that uh, before I got involved with St. James Sunday School, this is a large painting that the children made. And I keep it up on this board. So this is, this is a painting of the 12 disciples. And you can see the Sea of Galilee and the fishing boat. And they've named them all. So that's an incredible piece. I imagine these people are all adults. Maybe they're married now that, uh, that created this. But this is forever in our Sunday school room. It's a wonderful piece. Okay, I'll put that down. It's a heavy one. Right there. Okay. So now I wanted to um, go over here and talk a little bit more about 12. So I brought the carton with me. And here's, here's something you could do is if you had buttons or I've got pom-poms and you could take turns throwing them in and see how many of these names you can come up with that we just said, you know, okay, Bartholomew, oops, he didn't go in. <laughs> how about Matthew? He did, okay. How about James? Nope. How about John? So you can make a little game up of something as simple as that and see if you can get all 12 in and possibly name them and start to learn the names of the disciples because we don't talk about Bartholomew and Philip and everything every day. So they're a little more unusual the names to remember. So then here's another cool idea today. So this is the, uh, the Christian symbol for fish, the exus they call it, another Greek word. And all you have to do for this is just to get some of these little rolls, like your toilet, toilet paper rolls. So cut a circle off it and cut one end. And then you make a slit going up. You have to leave a spot for the tail on the one side and a spot going down on the other side. And then you just interlock those two like that. And you've made yourself a little excess fish. If I can get over to that spot, there it is. Okay, so you could make 12 of these and you can paint them or color them. And they're a, they're a nice little size, they're not too big. So the idea is you could hang them on top of a paper plate and you can make a mobile out of them. So you're just going to need to go around and make 12 holes with your hole punch and get some thread or some fishing line, something that won't show too, too uh, much and just put it right through the, the center. You don't have to make a hole in the fish because they have a hole in the, uh, the form that is created when you do this. So you just put it right inside like that and that fish can then be, have a, a knot on it and it can be attached and try and make it so the fish goes sideways. So you have to balance it a little bit, but that can be a fun mobile when you add the 12 of those together. Okay, so that should be an easy one and everyone has toilet paper rolls around the house. So that is an easy one to take home and do today. So we talked about blessings with our, our song and I thought, We'd end with a thank you prayer. We thank thee, Heavenly Father, for every earthly good, for life and health and clothing, and for our daily food. Oh, give us hearts to thank thee for every blessing sent, and whatsoever thou sendest, make us thereby be content. So let us be content with what we have, and we're very happy with that we're able to have a few more fun parts of uh, of the province opening up with uh, the COVID regulations. We can go into the restaurants and we, ha and, um, we need to be content with the, the freedoms that we do have and to be safe and to wear our masks and to keep at safe distances and so on. So have a wonderful week and I'll see you again next Sunday right back here at St. James Sunday School. Bye for now from Miss Ruth.